I'm gonna show you some fake NGK spark plugs that I got that I'm gonna return. These I got on eBay. I bought a bunch of other stuff on eBay that didn't work out, that was fake stuff. Uh, I ran through like three different sets of axles on one side, they all broke. At one point the trunnion came out of axle cup while I was driving, so that stuff was super dangerous. I bought an alternator off eBay that wasn't real. That thing failed within about a year and you know just similar things like that so this is why i'm going to return those i'm going to show you how i know that they're fake there should be a four digit serial number in like brown color on this white ceramic area that serial number is probably the biggest giveaway right there for the batch that these were made with when i look at this part it says the part number and on the other one it just said japan it says made in Japan here. It should have this number right here on this area here, but it does not say that. This is a little bit darker than the other ones. There's something that you could tell with the, the way that this is angled. It's a little bit hard for me to tell that. This triangle is supposed to have pointy ends. It does not. They're rounded ends, so that means that it's fake according to other videos I've seen. It should have a website for NGK down below this area. It doesn't have that. The website's right there. Got this verifying authenticity all over these. It's very likely that these are actually real. I got these on Amazon, so I'll link to those below. Another thing I picked up was this magnetic drain plug. I would recommend getting those. This is really critical for me because I'm trying to go to the dyno and gonna be paying about $300 for every two hours. And I don't want an issue with my spark plugs. I saw a video on YouTube of a guy that had the fake ones and they started having misfiring issues with the Kia. For a car that I'm trying to make a lot of horsepower with, this is not something I don't want to try and take chances on where I'd have to drive my car over three hours away to try and get it on the dyno and then have to pay hourly to be on the dyno with something like this that could have a misfire problems. One more thing you can test on it is the resistance from, from this point up to that point. And it should be, I think 5,000 ohms or something. I'm not even gonna bother with that because well, I paid $45 for these, I'm gonna return these and I don't wanna take the chance. The other ones were about $100 for a set of six.